We had five students on the bus, uh, special needs students, uh, ages uh, from kindergarten to fourth grade. And thanks to seatbelts, those five young students from Lafayette School Corporation and Tippecanoe School Corporation only had minor injuries after a rollover bus crash on I-65. It's because of their age and weight and uh, bus regulations and um, again because of some special needs, uh, every student was in some type of um, seat belt. Indiana State Police say it all happened around 2 p.m. Thursday near the Boone and Hendricks County border just south of the 865 split. Troopers say the bus driver, Audrey Kitchell, was heading north in the left lane when a box truck swerved into her lane. She went to swerve out of the way and ended up flipping in the median. Seven adults, including a teacher, teacher's aides, and parents, and five students on the bus were taken to two Indianapolis hospitals. Troopers say the driver of the box truck never stopped, but many other drivers did. It's something that shows uh, how important uh, kids are to people is that a lot of people, the lanes were shut down because people had jumped out of the car to make sure the school kids were all right. Our first information actually was from someone who just stopped, to, I believe, help and somehow uh, contacted us. Lafayette School Corporation Superintendent Les Huddle says the bus was heading back to Mintani Elementary after a glass field trip to the Indianapolis Sioux. Huddle says a relative showed up for each of the 12 passengers at either IU Health Methodist or St. Vincent Hospital. Plus, there was a school administrator waiting for the families. He says everybody is very fortunate. If we can find any good news in this is that uh, we, we had a major bus accident today, but we had minor injuries. I-65 southbound lanes were fully open by 4 p.m. after the scene had been cleared. Troopers say the Commercial Motor Vehicle Enforcement Division from ISP looked at the bus and no mechanical issues contributed to the crash.